Hi, Alex. Hey, Hello, uh, Susa. Hey, how are you? I'm good, you? Yeah, so I'm happy to know that you're from Venezuela. So, how do you feel right now when someone say you're from Venezuela? So, what's meant to you? Well, I'm very proud to be a Venezuelan. So, whenever somebody says that, I get a big smile on my face. Oh, it's good, but... Uh, in the like the international media and like in the Venezuela for the international headline for uh, one of the reasons. So how do you think as a citizen of Venezuela, why it happens? Well, I mean the the people are one thing, and and I think you know I'm really proud of the Venezuelan people, but the sec the other thing is the, the government, right? The reason why why we're in the situation we are today is because of the government policies that we've had since 1998. We've had a terrible government, no investment in a corrupt government. We've basically, the situation is there's no access to food, there's no access to hospitals, kids dying in hospital every day. Um, yeah, and it's, it's a tough situation. Over 10% of the country has left, basically, and the ones who are who are stating who are still in the country are trying to leave. Yeah, so what are the condition of the young generations like you guys? Uh, you are living in Singapore and then actually yeah. what young generation are think about it? Actually are they thinking about it for any kind of change or any kind of things maybe? What they have an option? Well I mean it's on my mind every day. I think everybody who who leaves Venezuela is somehow still connected to it. Like I go on Twitter, on Instagram and you see the news of what's happening, you have family there, you have friends there, so it's constantly on your mind. You feel helpless because there's little you can do from from mm -hmm. abroad, but you know you help out whoever is inside, give them support, uh, continue to raise awareness about it, about people who don't know about the situation, and that's pretty much you know what you can do. Yeah. Hey, Carlos. Yes, yeah, so please, you can add it. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Just I want to start from one line. Like you talking about your study, we are talking about the. Uh, you were expressed it based on the socialism, you know. Socialism. You, yeah. Well, I want to continue what Alex was saying. Like, yeah. for the young people like us, yeah. for us, it's like I think we left we left Venezuela, and I think it's a lesson for everybody because we are seeing, watching the world from outside learning new things like we we go to Europe we go to Asia we go and we learn new things maybe in the future we can come back to Venezuela and we can put there things like we learn outside because I think if you will stay in one place all your life okay you can you can have something but if you see the whole world yeah. with, with another perspective you learn a lot of things and you I mean up. the migration issues is like worse in the Venezuela right now a lot of people are migrated from the Venezuela so how long do you think uh, these uh, problems will continue and when it will solve? I really don't know, but I, I think there is not... Um, it's gonna be soon, but I think this is gonna have an, an end. It's gonna be a long end, yeah. but I think it's almost ready, I think. Yeah. I hope so. So like how people survive there right now? Like uh, you told me like your family members are here. Yeah. Well, they are surviving, yeah. They are not living, they are surviving, I think. Yeah. And it's quite uh, difficult for me to, yeah. to to hear these kind of things from people that are living there. Yeah. But well, it's, it's how it is, you know, they don't have option. option. Yeah. You, they need a lot of support yeah. if they want to immigrate to another place. There is, there, are, there is people that they don't have no more option, they start to walk to yeah. another place like Brazil, Ecuador, Peru, walking. Yeah. Like days, days walking, and this this is crazy. So are you scared about your family members? Like, yeah, if anything happens inside, like, I'm quite scared. Yeah, yeah. really, I'm quite scared about it. Yeah, yeah. Like, so uh, how do you think? Like, why is happening? It's like, it's a matter of international politics, or like the government are not concerned about anything else. I really because you have all you will resource. Yeah, we have a lot of resource, but I think the political, yeah, the political problem that we have there since yeah since 1998 something like that or I think all, all the all Venezuelan the history we have political problems all the time mm -hmm. but this is like the main problem this crisis uh, the worst in our history of Venezuela and yeah what we can do you know 
Yeah. No, and I, I think also like having the resources is, <laughs> is a blessing and a curse as well. Because on the one hand, you have a lot of money. Yes, but then that's why people fight in the government. It, it makes people be corrupt as well. So, you know, ultimately we can be very resourceful, but that's also a, the, a big source of our problems today as well. Yeah, because of the sources, uh, the other development countries they are used to, they have an eye on that. So, yeah. Yeah, sometimes this is a problem. Yeah. yeah, you told me you had already visited 50 countries. What were your experience, Alex? My experience in 50 countries? In 50 country, like. Uh, well, I think, I mean, anybody who travel is a lifelong passion for me. Uh, you know, I lived in, in uh, China for three years, which yeah. is a completely different experience to, <laughs> yeah. you know, what I, how I grew up. And after that experience, I realized that, you know, it expanded my mind so much. It, it taught me how to appreciate other people, other yeah. cultures. And I want to continue doing that because every time, you know, you go to a new place, you learn something new and you're kind of on this continuous journey, you know, where you continue, continue to grow as human beings and yeah, so. So this is the first time you're in Bangladesh and work with me. How do you feel? <laughs> well, uh, Suza, I was very happy that you liked Despacito uh, because <laughs> we can connect as Latinos. <laughs> No, it's been great. I mean, I really appreciate um, all your help. Very resor resourceful. It's kind of like you've been on the team for a long time. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's cool. Yeah, so how do you feel like as an independent filmmaker? Like, do you face any kind of problems? Like, uh, young generations and doing independent films, sometimes it's a problem of uh, money, funding, and the risky. Like, what are your experience and how do you think? Yeah, well, for independent films, yeah. Like you need to believe in your project, that's the first thing. And when you believe, you start to work mm -hmm. hard, really hard, and you're gonna get it for sure. If you believe in that and you have a positive mind on your project and you do all your best, I think that that's the main thing. But yeah, the money is, is a big issue nowadays. Yeah.